Just quickly go through Bitcoin, okay? So, knowledge is important in trading, but patience is just as valuable, yeah. And what we learned yesterday, um, our biggest, you know, token wisdom was to never trust thy neighbor. And that's why most people fail, right? That is what the quote was. Most people fail because of trusting their neighbor or their friends. Anyway, so let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. So, I think we... we you know, yesterday when we looked at Bitcoin, we timed it pretty well. We said, you know, we're going to come down, make a higher low first before we make a lower low. So this was a good long in this area. And we talked about making, um, being more into longs because we have already had all this downside. Um, you know, we could have seen some downside, but we were going to see some maybe upside first, come up and make a lower high. Um, but then we shot back up. So again, what I'm expecting here is the same as before. You know, maybe come back up, look for shorts up here in this area at the top of the range. So, you know, right now it's around 17.7, somewhere in here. Yeah, somewhere in here, come back up 17.7, 17.8. By the time we get up here, I mean, it could be a bit. It could be 17.8.3 at this point. Um, Yeah, so that's where I'd be looking for shorts right now. On the short, short, short term, this looks very bullish, right? This is a nice asymmetrical, not asymmetrical. Um, ascending triangle here at a resistance, right? So what we're doing at this at this level right here is we're pretty much knocking down the wall, right? We're filling in all the orders at this uh, resistance until there's nothing left. Maybe come down again, make a higher low, and then break it finally up to the upside, right? So if you did get into a long, you know where would you be looking at taking profits at? Well. Let's see here, there's really not much. We do have some sideways action over here though, right? So somewhere in here, the 17 three is probably gonna be the next stop. And then, yeah, there's probably some volume up here in 17 three, 17 four, 17 six. Yeah, I would say something like that. Um, at the very top is 18 K, which I mean, that's gonna be really tough to break, but that's quite a ways up there. I would still be looking for the top of this range. I would be putting shorts in up here. This is where you want to be targeting your shorts is up here. Okay. If you are looking for longs, maybe we come back down and do retest this trend line again. This white one. Um, I'd be looking for longs down here, shorts up here at the top. Otherwise, I'm just kind of waiting it out. You know, I'm not really entering in the middle of this. I'm just kind of, you know, looking for, for good entries in the middle. Um, let's look at the volume and everything. Oh, 3.2 million buy over on OKX, huh? I mean, we're looking very bullish right now. So, as you can see, our J bot, our little J, I mean, J bots are kind of hanging out right now, being quiet, uh, waiting for something. I want to install that. Yep, here we are. But maybe retesting the resistance again, maybe break up to the upside. We'll see what happens. But you can see here, you know, our little J's have been spot on, right? These whites are longs. And we had another long. Actually, looks like last night. Right over here. These J bots are clutch, huh? Long live J bots. Wow, look at these whales, huh? Look at that. Retail had no belief in this. Retail weren't buying this shit at all, huh? It's amazing, huh? So if you look at this, uh, let me separate them for you guys so you guys can see this. Okay, so this is retail. These are majority of people anyone who's trading under i say retail under 100k but you know what i mean let's do under 10k so these are the majority of buyers who are buying with under ten thousand dollars and yeah, you can see during this entire uptrend you know how they've kind of really believed in it and have slowly been been buying right since we were down here at this bottom over here um and then there was a massive sell-off for them over here, they just kind of stopped believing in it. Now, let's compare the whales, right? Anyone who's buying over a million dollars, and look at that. Look at that, right? It's crazy, huh? It's crazy. Now, I don't fully believe this. Um, this this drop is this much. I'm thinking it might be something related to Binance. 
So if we turn off um, the Binance uh, Perpetuals, yeah, see it's not as much. It's Binance Perpetuals. I mean, it's it's generally, it is fairly accurate, but sometimes Binance Perpetuals data is a little weird sometimes. It's a little accurate, but just a little weird. Um, so yeah, it looks like <laughs> our um, small buyers are not really into this. It looks like our big buyers are definitely into this, huh? Quite remarkable. Look at our longs and our shorts. Our open interest is steadily climbing here, slowly. We might see retail kind of come in a little bit late here because um, you know, that's what retail traders do is they buy the tops and short the bottoms. We might start to see them come in now. And then push this up to the um, upper part of the range. So that's what I expect to happen. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.